Margaret Smith here from the Heart of the Witch's Path YouTube channel. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day today. I'm coming to you today with a video that's kind of in the vein of the cruelty-free products that the Rumi and I um, are switching to. And I know I've talked a lot about beauty and how, um, HBC products, uh, but I thought what I would do today is talk to you about some of the household cleaners that we've been using and kind of give you a mini review on how they work for us. So I've gone about the house and I've, uh, I have a whole bunch here and I'm going to try to get through them as quickly as possible. So let's start with bathroom products. Um, the first one up is this seventh generation powerful clean toilet bowl cleaner. And we've tried quite a few toilet bowl cleaners, uh, from seventh generation, from method, uh, I'm trying to think of maybe, and I think, I think there might've been like one other one, but this one we kind of keep coming back to. This one works really well. We have, um, uh, we just went through a bathroom renovation and so we have a new toilet stool. And so, uh, this one is a high efficiency, so it doesn't use as much water. So we're finding that we're cleaning the toilet bowl a little bit more frequently. And this it's white. The, the new toilet is white and this is doing a really good job so far of keeping the toilet very nice and clean. Uh, we had our other stool was kind of like an almond color. And so it was a little bit harder to see if like things were coming clean, clean, <laughs> but this white one, <laughs> it is totally showing whether it's clean or dirty. So we're keeping up on top of it with this. And seventh generation is found in a lot of stores. You'll find it in your health food stores. You'll find it at Target and you'll find it. We've even found some of this line at Meyer and Walmart. Uh, just be aware that like when you get into, um, a, I think it was Meyer, the price point on the entire seventh generation line tends to be a little bit higher than in some other locations like Target. So I would say do some price checking just in general. We also have from Method a bathroom cleaner. This is a, let's see, natural tub and tile cleaner. This is in eucalyptus mint scent. Um, this bad boy is almost done. This one we use on the surround, we use in the tub, we use... Uh, I think we even use this on the sink. I've used it on the sink. I don't know about the roomy, but this one, it dissolves scope, soap scum, cleans mold and mildew stains. I really like this one and would totally repurchase it. Uh, method sometimes kind of, uh, cycles through scents and formulas quite a bit. So I think this one is still available, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me. And I don't have any prices on any of this, unfortunately. Um, so method is found in target. That's the best I can give you. And this works well. So, um, a new product that we received or that we just, that we received, that we purchased for the bathroom is this Method Daily Shower Spray. Uh, this is a naturally derived shower cleaner. And again, this is the eucalyptus mint scent. So this is designed to spray down the shower and it cleans without having to rinse is what the label says. Um, and the Method line I've found a lot of products work really well. And so this one is pretty new to us. So um, got to remember to use it if you want to know how it works. So, you know, getting in the cycle of having a daily shower spray, we've never, I think we've tried one before, uh, before the bathroom reno. So it's just kind of getting used to remembering to spray it every day. So that's it for the bathroom products. Let's move into the kitchen. No, let's do laundry. Let's just shake things up a little bit. So this is an empty container. So if it seems like I'm flapping it around a lot, it's because it's empty, but I'm saving it to possibly use for another purpose. So this is the Method Fabric Softener. Um, this is in the scent Fresh Air. And this is, this will do up to 50 loads, four pumps equals one load. And, uh, 
we also use the method laundry detergent in the same scent and we there are there are quite a few detergent varieties that you can purchase in method and we opted for the fresh air in this particular bottle because you can purchase refills for um for the detergent in this variety and so that way you kind of reduce the amount of packaging that you're um, that you're purchasing because you can purchase that refill that will fill the bottle about one and a half times. Unfortunately, the fabric softener we haven't found a refill, and I've got an example of what the refill things look like for another one of the method products, so I can show you that in just a minute. Um, this stuff works really well. And one thing that I like about going cruelty free in the house is that the roomie and I used to purchase our own separate uh, laundry soap and fabric softener. But when we went cruelty free, I can I can have sensitive skin. And so that's why I, you know, bought separate things from her. And so, but when we went cruelty free, we tried this because it's a natural product and um, we tried it to see if I could use it, if she could use it, if it got the clothes clean, we really like it. And so we're able to save money by purchasing it together. So I want to say, I'm remembering the price of these guys. So um, the detergent is in like a darker blue package, but it's the same, you know, it looks the same. So so I want to say that this size package in the detergent was right around seven to nine dollars. And the same goes for this guy. And then the refill package that you can purchase uh, that I said would fill this like one and a half times, those run anywhere from like 16 to $18. And sometimes they're on sale too, so or there's coupons, so you could watch for those. But this uh, brand, this variety of fabric softener and uh detergent, laundry detergent works really well. And, you know, we can have some stained clothes and stuff like that. And that works really well. One thing that I am looking for is a good stain remover from a natural line. So if you have a suggestion, please give it to me below. Um, another option is this fabric softener. This is something that we're going to try. Now, this one has a hundred uses. And what you do with this one, instead of putting it in the washer, you put your clothes in the dryer and then you spray, I want to say, you spray it directly in the dryer. And I want to say that they recommended two sprays for a small load, four sprays for a medium load, and six sprays for a large load. And so we're going to try this one and see how it works. Now, if you hang dry clothes, this might not be a, a good option for you. But for towels uh, or things like that, that, you know, everything that goes in the dryer, this might be a good a good option for you. Um, okay, so let's move into the kitchen or AKA some general cleaning um, because I wanted to show you this. So this is a refill for the, um, the Method brand dish soap. Now this is the same kind of a container that the laundry soap refill comes in and it's really nice because this is all recyclable stuff and this one is flattened see when it's empty it's flat like so but when it's obviously full it's more dimensional um but we purchased the bottle of the the dish soap um and this is the scent clementine Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> and so the the bottle, the original bottle is, I think it's pretty much the same size. Um, and so we purchased that, then we were then we purchased these refills. Now I want to say that the original bottle was probably it was less than ten dollars for this, and then this refill is like five. So the original bottle was probably around six or seven dollars, if that, and then this is like five dollars for the refill. And this will fill uh well, it says it will refill your dish soap two times. That's a pretty good deal. And I like it because it's got this. I don't know what's in here. 
it might be like just a, a pocket of air, but it helps you to pour. So see you, um, you unscrew this little cap and then you pour to fill it, to fill your, your pump bottle. And one thing that I like about the pump bottles is that, um, you, I don't, let me see if you can see it in here. See how the, the tube is coming down and it goes to the side. That's what happens in those pump bottles as well. And so it, when it gets really low, it's going to the side where there's like a little bit deeper in the well of the plastic bottle. And so you're able to like really use a lot more of it before you have to refill it. So that's kind of nice. Um, we've also purchased, um, and I don't have any right now to share. We purchased um, the hand soap refills. We had little hand pumps both at the kitchen sink and at the bathroom sink from other purchases. And we actually had like a decorative holder from the one in the bathroom. Those were Ulta brands, which are really good hand soaps. And they have stuff for the kitchen and for the bathroom. Um, and you can find them on sale like buy two, get one free or something like that. And the Ulta brand is cruelty free. So if you wanted to go that route, you know, definitely do so. But we had those holders already. So we just bought a refill bag of this from the method stuff because the refill bag was like three or four dollars. And so, you know, we can keep the same containers and switch up the scent as we want to for, you know, for that. And so we're all out of the refill. So we need to purchase another one of those. Um, so that was the dish soap. And then this is the seventh generation dishwasher detergent gel. Now, before going cruelty free, we used um, the pods in our dishwasher. We bought like the Cascade brand. Um, I think that's the one that we bought the most of. And so when we went to cruelty free, we started looking for dish soap pods from a cruelty free company. And those can be expensive like more expensive than buying the non cruelty free brand. So we were shopping around and so we saw that they had this bottle um and does it say so this is a lemon scent. It removes stuck on food. It's chlorine free. Does it tell me how many uses? Mm, no. Nothing that I can readily see. This lasts us quite a while. And so this is a 42 ounce bottle and this will last us for a couple of months at least. And we run the dishwasher. There's only two of us here. So it's not like we're wash we're running it every day, but probably every other day to every three days, depending on how busy we are and if we ate at home. But this bottle uh, right around the six to eight dollar range. Um, and it's way more cost effective than the little pods from se seventh generation. So, I mean, it's more convenient to grab the pod and throw it in, but this isn't much different. Um, and so it's got a nice scent. It works well, cleans the dishes. This is pretty much, we found this and because of the cost, we just have stuck with this since we went cruelty free. So like this a lot. All right. We also have, oh my gosh, I don't know if this is available anymore because I actually picked this up on clearance from Target, but this is another method product. This is the method all purpose naturally derived surface cleaner. And it does say limited edition. Um, but I think the limited edition might be the scent, which you can see is pomegranate friends. I will be looking for this in other scents because the scent doesn't necessarily make or break a product for me, but this product, it is so good at cleaning multi-surfaces, the kitchen counters, the stove, our stove, we have... Um, we don't have a, a stove that, that that's one unit. We have a countertop stove and then we have an oven in the wall. So we have that countertop stove and it's white and that bad boy can get absolutely disgusting. And so I've been using this to clean it. Holy cow. Clean, 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 clean. Um, so I really, really like this product. So I'm hoping that the multi-purpose is going to be available in other scents so that I can buy it when this guy runs out. But I really, really like this. Now, again, 
method, to my knowledge, is only available at uh, Target, uh, but I'm sure you can purchase things online. As far as this dishwasher detergent, we found this at health food stores. We found this at Target. We have found it at Walmart, I think. And I think we found it at Meyer. But again, if you have a Meyer in your area, because that's only kind of like the Midwest area, if you have a Meyer in your area, prices on that line are a little higher. So you might want to check around and see what, you know, see where else you can find it. Now, the last thing I have is a Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Soap. Now, this is in Unscented. Uh, this is an all-in-one product. This can be used for so many things. And we originally purchased this bad boy because the roomie wanted to make a homemade shower, or, um, a homemade shaving gel. And this was part of the recipe. And so we bought this whole big bottle, which was like $14, mind you, but it's 32 fluid ounces. Um, we bought this so she could try that recipe that she really likes. So we'll be using it again for that purpose. And we're still cycling out some of the products that we had already purchased before going cruelty free, some floor cleaners and other, other things like that. And so once those are gone and we recycle the packaging that we can, then I think we'll be using this more and more for like a floor cleaner and for a wall cleaner and things like that. Now, one thing the roomie did mention to me is that this is oil-based. So I don't know for sure what that means for cleaning all your surfaces. But as you can tell, if you look at this wrapper, there's a whole lot of fine print there. So I'm sure you could figure out like what you could and can't. I haven't taken the time to read the whole thing because, well, it's crazy. So you can, it looks like you can use it in the laundry. You can use it on the floor. You can use it to wash the dog. <laughs> I'm kind of digging on that. Um, you can wash your fruits and vegetables with this. Um, all purpose cleaner. You add a quarter of a cup to a quart of water in a spray bottle. And so you could use that for spraying purposes. So that might be a fun thing to try if I can't find this guy again. So, um, and Dr. Bronner's comes in different scents. We just, um, we knew that she was going to be mixing it with other scents. So we bought the unscented variety. So, so that's what we're using thus far. These are the things that we've tried out so far. Everything works just as good, if not better better than the cruelty free brands. And while the price points on some things might be a little bit higher, my peace of mind for knowing that I'm using something cruelty free that's not being tested on animals, um, it makes it okay to spend a little bit more. So, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you learned something. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. And thanks for walking the path for a little while with me. Blessed be.